God, I thank you right now in the name of Jesus for your word. I thank you for the grand design. God, I thank you for Holy Spirit power moving, people moving, us being able to move by that Spirit's power. For you said all power has been given unto you. And so I thank you that you took control and you took power. For you are the King of kings and the Lord of lords, God. All power belongs to you. There ain't nothing that's impossible for you. You said I could do all things through you God because you strengthen me God the joy of the Lord is my strength and I thank you just for you being you God I ain't got no real uh, 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 situational stuff no no food no no clothes nothing like that to ask for as a matter of fact I'm going through my drawers and throwing clothes out I got too many the drawers are busting open as I know I got too many hallelujah that shouldn't be because I'm on disability now, come on come on when the world calls me disabled, God said, uh, He is more than able. He is uh, exceedingly abundantly. He can do, hallelujah, God, he's the God that uh, keep me from falling. Thank you, God. And there ain't nothing that's too hard for Him. Uh, and I thank you, Jesus, uh, for being able to pray, for being able to meet you at the throne of grace. You said, if uh, I be lifted up, you said you would draw all men unto you. So I'm asking you, God, uh, at the end of the day, to draw. God, close to you, you don't come down when you do that. What y'all don't understand is the scripture. Understand the scripture. When he says, if I be lifted up, I will draw all men unto me. When he says that right here, he stays on his throne. God is a king. Kings don't advocate their throne, right? So if he's staying on his throne, we get pulled up close to the hell. We meet me, him in heaven. I get to worship at his feet. When he does that, I'm praying that he'll give me a crown to throw down at his feet. I want to cry, holy, 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 at his feet. I want to worship. Worship him, watch her. Serve him, watch her. Bless him, watch her. Comfort him, watch his feet. He's a king of kings. So he ain't getting off his throne. So if you, don't, if you, if you do those things, he said, if I be lifted up, I will draw all men unto me. He said, oh God, if, but if you had faith the size of a mustard seed, you would be able to, you would have, excuse me, uh, spoken, uh, oh God, to this mountain and it would remove itself and cast itself into the sea. And here's the second part. This is a two for with God, right? Uh, nothing would be impossible for you. Did God show me the pretty part about that just now? He said, there's a, "He said if you would do this one thing, I would come out and do the two. He comes with a two for just to show you he always will topple over what he has asked you to do. All he did was ask you to get a mustard seed, something that will help you and benefit you. Hallelujah, past what you think you need. Because a mustard seed just about me having a mustard seed, I'm able to speak, but that's not why I'm getting it. He's giving you the benefits girl, of getting the mustard seed because the son was fit to go to the cross. You ain't fit to go to the cross, right? You sinned. I sinned yesterday. I sinned. I failed. Hallelujah. I failed. I get a chance to um confess. I failed. The God that's able to keep me from falling told me what I needed to do so I wouldn't fall and I still fell. Thank you, Jesus. I fail because it reminds me not to be powerful. I ain't got it like that just because I had to, my family, my mother and my grandmother made me take the Nazarite vow not to cut my hair or ever drink, right? So, so I, I, just because I'm a Nazarite like that, like that day and night, I don't mean, don't mean that I'm right day and night. You could be a Nazarite, but not be right day and night. Seriously, it was a Nazarite. Hey, come on, okay, uh -huh. the Bible scripture says, God just told me, Philippians 4.13 says, I can do all things so that, uh, uh, through Christ. I can do. Doesn't mean I will. You can do. Doesn't mean you will, right? If you had faith. The sounds of much to see. He was talking to his disciples. They should have had the faith. But when they when they when they came across a, a situation right where their faith should have uh, uh, briefed them up and they should have come in contact with uh, uh, the, the the presence that they needed in order to uh, perform the miracle that they needed to. That's why the man got upset. Now this was a man that said, "Help my unbelief. Help my unbelief." Got upset with them. Your disciples, I asked them to kill my son, but your disciples could not pull out the Holy Spirit inside of them to uh, get it 
done. They don't have a thimble of Holy Spirit in them. Ah, you are the master, right? See, when I went to the was like a phone call I had to make last night. I got my medicine. The woman had me on the phone for 20 minutes telling me what she could not do. I was holding my fist. Because uh, I remember the Pastor David said, Jamie, be nice. Uh, so I was holding my fist and I uh, asked the Holy Spirit to help me. Because if she said, I can't do it one more time, my mom. I don't hear, I'm not asking you to do anything. So then I, I heard the pharmacist come. I heard the pharmacist come. She said, the pharmacist is here. So the pharmacist walked in. I said, oh, the pharmacist is there. Can I speak to him? Took me another, took another five minutes for her to try to talk me out of talking to the pharmacist. See, when people can't assist you in your time of need, they will try to talk you out of needing what you do. <laughs> the disciples tried to walk. Oh, y'all know how, y'all know Jamie. Y'all know how the conversation went. I ended up on the phone with customer service. Telling them what happened, and they were, mm. oh, we can't believe that. We're gonna, we're, we're gonna investigate this right now. We, we don't believe this happens. I want to tell you what she did. I, 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 I want to tell you what she did. I'm asking. This is very, very detrimental to my health. I said I have a cause. I'm a poet and a painter, right? And I have a cause. I said don't ever tell me that because it makes me think that you're telling elderlies that thing, same thing. Uh, and you are a killer. You are risking lives. Uh, are you okay with her telling me what she told me? Then I'm gonna leave it at that. I have a cause. I have a cause and I don't have paws. I'm not a dog. Don't talk to me like a dog. I don't have paws. But I got a cause. Uh, watch your back. So when I come out, I, 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 I said, she don't know me. I'm two minutes from her. Walking. The problem is, though, I can't walk because I got a boot on my foot. Because my foot's been broke since last April. Excuse me, February. I cut out in your house. Almost a year. And I, said, uh, I don't like to get nobody's way. That's how I've been mistreated. But the moment you mistreat somebody else, uh, I got a problem with that. I got a problem with that. The disciples took the, 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 known, known for taking people to the side. They did it with the, 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 the man in the tree, Zacchaeus. <laughs> so we were told to be like a tree here. What does it tell us to climb the tree? But uh, Zacchaeus could not see. So uh, he needed to see the Savior. So he went and climbed the tree. Got up into it. I wonder if he kicked some fruit off of it when he did. When he was in the tree, he you know, could not see. So he tried to get closer. I believe it was bound for the Magus that was screaming at the Jesus. How could I let him let me high? Because he had been sitting there. And thing is, thing is, I was blind for like a couple of months in 2020 because I couldn't see into my eyeballs. Right? So, so, so I noticed that my hearing peaked when I when my, I lost my seeing. So it's fun to be able to sit in my apartment, in the back of my apartment, and listen to what was going on in my neighbor's apartment, next door, and through their doors, and through their their rooms. It's fun to know that I could do that, right? Because I'm going to set up in my apartment, right? So if I'm on the other side of me, there was a neighbor, right? He had just moved in. And I knew what the sound, what he was, not what he was doing, but I could hear when he was in his kitchen. I could hear through walls. I, thought I became like a superwoman with x-ray hearing, with no x-ray vision. Because I ain't trying to see what you're doing. I ain't no stalker, but I like the fact that I can hear her. What's going on? Oh, what's going on? Yeah, yeah, what's going on? Come on. <laughs> Zacchaeus was I'm not saying nothing. Blind brought him Yes, we talked about this. The man's first name was Blind. Why? I don't like that. Some wild questions, right? Because uh, I feel like I'm charging God with the uh, answer. Give me an answer to this question. God, the like Job did. He asked some questions, but then could, could not complete the questionnaire when God picked up the paper and the pen and started to a- ask him. He could not handle it. So I, I'm afraid to let God uh, get, get, get up in God's face and ask him questions. Because what if he turns around and uh, asks me? You got issues with you. Why did you come through for me, God? Because what if God turned around and was like, why did you come through for me? Uh, come on, uh, 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 uh. Why didn't you rescue me, God? I don't know. Why didn't you pray to me? I don't know. Why didn't you do this for me, God? I don't know. Why didn't you praise me? Come on, how come I want to come? What if God asked you a why don't you when you asked him? But blind boy amazed it. He sat there. I think he I think he saw spiritually. Because people that can't see, see spiritually. Or people that can't see, hear naturally. Or hear spiritually. People that can't see, that our senses, other senses are, are heightened. I've heard, I said, why can I hear everything that's going on? What's going on? Oh, what's going on? Yeah. Oh, what's going on? I don't want to hear that. <laughs> but I can hear it. Why am I sat there and when Jesus... I get the contention that he was going out there sitting there all the time. Just waiting. Funny thing is, 
So I don't go sit and wait at the bus stop if I don't think a bus is coming. I, I, I'll sit somewhere else or I'll go and find another stop for another bus. The bus may come by there, but it will not, may not stop there. And I don't know that that bus stops there or that, that the bus ain't gonna come there, that I'm not gonna wait there. That's crazy. The man at the gate called Beautiful, right? Didn't he wait at the pool? He didn't know when the bus was coming by. He didn't know when they were co- the angel was coming by. He didn't know if somebody was going to come by and kick his tail in like he like should have happened because he was waiting there for 38 years. Are you kidding me? You must have lost your mind. First of all, I would have put him in there, but first of all, before I put him in there, I would have told him off. You waited 38 years and you couldn't tell nobody to roll you in. You would have lost your mind and get some burrito bread, roll you up in there and roll you down. I'm steps into that pool. Back up, we going to the YMCA. We going to do it there. I'm going to baptize your tail. You going to get delivered today. I'm going to love my tail. I'm going to come in. I'm going to sit the first minute telling him off. 38 years, what? That's half your life? Are you kidding me? You spent 38 years of your life sitting. And he wasn't blind. It wasn't like he couldn't do anything. You got your hands. You can praise the Lord. You got your feet. Oh, wait, no, you don't. I'm about to say you got your feet. You can dance for, before the Lord, but you can't. Sorry. But you got your ears, right? So you know what's going on. Oh, oh, what's going on, yeah. Oh, what's going on, yeah. You know what's going on. Come on. <laughs> Sing with me. Y'all singing when y'all ain't in church. Y'all singing when you ain't got nobody around you that you're trying to impress. So let your head down, rest, and address what's really going on. Get with the secret sins inside of you. You are craving something that God is not desiring for you. And you go before him and ask him, why didn't you give it to me? And you know what he turns to us and says to you, well, I saw what was really going on. Uh, what's going on? Uh, what's going on? Yeah. Uh, what's going on? What's going on? You in it twerking and working it or every way you can. You done dropped your wig, your hair, your tracks just like that. You look whack. Uh, your hair uh, uh, break the hair down your back. You done, you, done, you done got loose with it when you think that there's nobody to uh, impress. But that's the plastic chemical mess. That's how plastic chemicals get it, right, y'all? As soon as y'all take them high heel shoes off, y'all, y'all, y'all be in your apartment singing, What's going on? Whoa, what's going on? And you ain't asking God to bring it. But the man said, who's that? Who is he talking to? I would have thought that he would have sat with cousins, uncles, pets, something. Somebody went out, with, went, went out there with him. Because he's blind. And you know how it's going to get. How he going to get back to the house? He's blind. He would have sat out there. He sat and sitting outside. It's, blind. it's, it's, it's hot. You, 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 your eyeballs may be done, but your, your body ain't. You can't feel that, son? Get in here, blind. Get in here, blind. Come here, blind. Come here. Ask somebody this. Ask somebody that's deaf this, right? That has a hearing aid. You see somebody with a hearing aid walking down the street? Get dead in their face and clap as loud as you can right before their nose and say to them, Come on, a deaf, get it together, deaf. Hurry up, deaf. Deaf. Come to Jamie. Come de- if you dare, come to Jamie and say, Come on, ankle. Get together, ankle. Get together. Kneecap, get it together. What if I was named for my infirmity? How would I feel about that? I told her, I said, What if your grandmother was told this very same thing? She was like, I, I, that, that would be a doubt. I, 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 that would be a problem. I'm, 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 we're going to get you the customer service right now. We're going to put a complaint in. That would be a problem for you to be told, for her to be told that. I am asking you about uh, medication that I norm- that I actually don't have to take, uh, but I take it because my doctor tells me to, uh, right? So I'm bipolar, I need the lithium, uh, and I need hydroxyzine for the anxiety too. Uh, it's none of your business why I'm actually taking it, right? Because uh, it's a low dosage uh, that I need from day to night. I gotta take it, right? So uh, I'm told to take it, and you tell me. Pray for God that, pray for God that, God, please forgive her. 
God let us do it now. God, please forgive her right now. Release her from the holes that hold on to her mind because I was about to go over there and put my hands around her neck and hold on to it. But I did not. I kept thinking that she's lucky I gotta wear a boot, but I'm just telling you, God, because you know me, I'm coming clean before you. Right? I recognize the sin that's in me. Nazarite don't make me perfect. Nazarite is just a title that they put on me. But at the end of the day, I'm concerned about the sin that's in my skin, the sin that I'm in. So I, 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 I determined that I, I think it's Romans 8 18, right? Says, I will let nothing separate me from the love of God.